he, he said he accounted it to him for for righteousness. Amen. Yes, sir. See, 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 see. Uh, the Bible said, "But seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness." Amen. Mm -hmm. See, see, just having the Spirit of God alone is not enough. Amen. You it, it, having the Spirit of God is one thing, but but you got it, it, we grow in grace, we grow in wisdom, we grow in understanding. Amen. So, so, so we, uh, hello, somebody. Uh, when he says, seek ye first the kingdom of God, that's why he put the word and his righteousness. Amen. The Bible said Abraham, or uh, Abram, believed God, in God, and it was counted to him for righteousness. Amen. The Bible said, uh, What's impossible under man is possible under God. Amen. You you can't put a limit on the law. Amen. You 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 have to continue. The Bible said uh, uh, Jesus will set you at liberty, but in order to be made free, you have to continue in His Word. Amen. See see see. Pilate asked Jesus the question said. What is truth? And he said, Father, thy word is truth. Hello, somebody. Amen. See, if you're going to come to know the truth, you got to get in that word and you got to stay in the word. Hello, somebody. Huh? You, you, uh, huh? you just can't pick up a Bible every now and then. Hello, somebody. And say you saved, sanctified, full of the Holy Ghost and all that thing. Hello, somebody. Huh? In order for you to be washed up for your sin, cleaned up, you got to be cleaned by the word of God. Amen? It's the word of God that's going to clean you up. Hello? Huh? If you live in sin, it's the word of God that's going to clean you. Hello, somebody. Right, right. If you're not abiding that word like you're supposed to, I know how you live. Hello, somebody, huh? Praise be to God. You got to, you got to get into this word. You got to eat, eat all of it. Amen? And you just, you just don't eat one meal a day. Hello, somebody, huh? And all of a sudden, you 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 good for the rest of your life. Hello, somebody. I, I thank the Lord, amen. You got to get into the Word. The Word got to get into you. Jesus has studied the Scripture. You think that they uh, have eternal life in them, and they are they that, that testify of me. Hello, somebody, huh? If you won't come to know the Lord, hello, somebody. You you gonna have to get into this word, amen. And you got to get this word in you. Hello, somebody. I thank the Lord, amen, huh? And I'm talking about the living word. Hello, somebody. I thank the Lord. The Bible said the Bible. See, see what 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 happened with Abraham, uh, Abram, and that was long later became Abraham. It is it, it, the idea that he was faced with with, with a situation that was just about an uh, impossible situation. He, he didn't have no, no, no child, no heir, amen, to call his own. Hello, somebody, amen. And, 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 and he desired an heir, but he didn't have an heir. There's somebody out there desiring something right now, but you don't have it and don't see no way you can get it. And, and time running out on you to get a hold to it. Amen. Hello, somebody, huh? And you, you're making a lot of steps, but you're not getting it away. You're just like a bear. Hello, somebody, huh? Praise be to God. You press it over. Don't let like nothing happen. Amen. Don't let like nothing go happen. Amen. Don't let like nothing go change. Praise be to God. But I hope I, I stop by here to tell you that that one thing, they surely ain't going to change. That's Jesus Christ. We're going to be the same yesterday, today, and forever more. That's right. Hello, somebody. The Bible said God is not a man. They should lie to you the son of man, and he should repent. Has he said it, and shall he not do it? Hello, somebody. Uh, I'm talking about the promises of God. All the promises of God is, is Christ Jesus is yes. Hello, somebody, huh? That, 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 that nothing that God, hello, somebody, huh? The Bible says if you confess the Lord out of your mouth and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Hello, somebody, huh? 
The Bible said it saved God. Abraham believed in the law. And it was accounted unto him for righteousness. Hello, somebody. Uh, I thank the Lord. I give God the praise and glory. Right maybe, maybe your situation is not the same as Abraham's situation to him, but you can't see no way out of your situation no more. He can see a way out of his situation. Hello, somebody, huh? But the thing about it, Abraham believed God. Hello, somebody, huh? He believed God and was counted to him for righteousness. Amen. God needed to have no seed, no sign of no seed. Time was running out. God did it to a certain place and told him to look out. He count all the stars of heaven. Hello, somebody. And evidently the sky was full of stars. Hello, somebody, huh? He said, so shall you, your seed going to be like the sand of the sea. He said, what you said? He said, but I, I but, but the flesh will kick in there. I said, but I don't even have no seed. Come on, man, don't jive it. Hello, somebody, huh? The woman told the prophet Elijah, she said, she said no, 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 no tease me. Hello, somebody. I don't have no child. No possibility to get there. Uh, hello, somebody. And he said, by the time this year I come back, you're going to be blessed with a child. Hello, somebody. Amen. And in the year's time, she was blessed with a child. Hello, somebody. I thank the Lord. Give God the praise, the glory, and the honor. Amen. God, God, God is good. He's good all the time. Amen. I, I don't know what your situation is, but I'm quite sure God knows. Hello, somebody. I don't know what it is that you desire, but I'm quite sure God knows. Hello, somebody. But, 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 but I tell you something. The Bible said, see, the Bible said Abraham believed in God and it was counted unto him. What? For righteousness. Oh, praise be to God. The Bible said, uh, see, he first keep God and his righteousness. Nothing but the righteous going to see God. Hello, somebody. Job was a righteous man. Hello, somebody. Uh, I'm just saying, hey, man, you know, uh, <laughs> if you're going to walk with the Lord, if you're going to be in agreement with the Lord, see, first of all, you've you got to try to find out something about you, 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 A lot of folks don't even understand what God is talking about. Nobody goes an extra mile to try to find out. You've you got to, first of all, consider uh, say, well, well, preacher, what is righteous? First of all, what does righteousness even mean? What is righteousness, preacher? Uh, 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 let, me, let, me, let me stop by and tell you this here. The Bible said that when a man ways please the Lord, he may even all his enemies to be at peace with him. In other words, when you righteousness is when you please God. What you said? Uh, see, see, see. Righteousness, amen, is being perfect in the eyesight of God, amen. Righteousness is being held not guilty in God's eyesight. Righteousness, see, see, see the Bible said, the Bible said, uh, uh, the Bible said Christ died. God justified it, amen. In, in other words, if he is a righteous man in the eyesight of God, he being a holy man, in the eyesight of God. In other words, he without fault. Amen. The Bible said, hello, somebody, like some folks said, Abraham was a liar, but they don't say that nowhere in the Bible. And Abraham himself said, surely she is my sister. You know, I know what I told you. But she is my see if you read the whole thing, you say, surely she is she is my sister. She's my father's daughter, but not my mother's daughter. And therefore, I'm married. That don't make no difference. God, we married. We still a sister. Hey, brother. You know somebody. And, and, and they don't need a point finger that Abraham going to go back to Adam and Eve. I don't know who you think you married to. You know somebody, huh? And I'm just saying, the Bible should be wise as a seven miles of the dove. You know somebody, huh? I, I thank the Lord. Abraham, the Bible said, Abraham uh, 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 looked out and he thought and said, Fear God in the end of this place. These people are heathen and they'll do anything to me. Hello, somebody. I need to make sure God, I know God said he with me, that he my shield. I, I know God said he might see the great reward. I got to give God time to wait. Yeah? The Bible, see, see, Abraham was afraid that he would be killed. Hello, somebody. And therefore, praise be to God. Amen. But but God is near unto 
under Abraham. God is right there with Abraham. God has his hand open. Let me show you something. The Bible said that God told the Bimelech, I know that you, out of the integrity of your heart, didn't touch him. He said, I kept you from doing it. I kept you from sinning against me. Yes, sir. See, the Bible said, if a man sin a sin against you or me or somebody, hello, somebody. If you sin a sin against somebody, then that sin is forgivable. But if you sin a sin against God, Hello, somebody. See, see, in other words, who going to intercede for you if you sin a sin against God? God said, I'll wipe out the whole house. Chilling everybody, I'll I, I wipe out everything. Hello, somebody, huh? In other words, what God is telling you is the same thing he told you in the New Testament. He didn't receive who I sin, receive me. He didn't reject who I sin, rejects me. Hello, somebody. He that sins against who I sin, sins against me. He that bless who I sin, blesses me. What you said? Uh, let me show you something. He said, Abraham, uh, Abraham, Abraham is a prophet. Abraham made the statement that God called me out from amongst my home. My family. God chose me. God sent me out here. Amen. And, and I didn't come to do my own will. I, I come to do his will. He said, in, in other words, God is with me. To deliver me. Hello, somebody. And the Bible said that vengeance belongs unto the Lord. The Bible said Ab Abigail, husband, Nabal, David sent word to him to be a blessing. And he sent word back to David, you know, rose up against your master. And you think you are, I'm not fit to be a blessing to you. The Bible said God smoked it. God kept David from smoking it and all the family. God killed it. Amen. And the reason the Lord smoked it is because vengeance belonged to the Lord. It was not David to render. David was sent by God. See, if you have to understand this, when the Philistines war against David, a uh, 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 war against the children of Israel, which was Saul at King death. War against the children of Israel and took the Ark of the Covenant. They went to their spiritual leaders because as long as they had the Ark of the Covenant that belonged to the Lord, their gods were being knocked down and destroyed, and their kingdom was being lost. And they desired to take the Ark of the Covenant back. Follow me good now. But, but their, their, their spiritual leaders told them, said, no, -uh, you can't take it back like that. It don't go like that. They said, you cannot take anything back to God if the hand. They said, you can't go to God if the hand. They said, each one, there are five lords of the Philistines, and each one of them have to put a mouse of gold, a certain amount of gold, with that ark in order to pacify the situation in order to take it back. Now, listen to this. Ebimelech did not lay up with Sarai. 
Amen. Amen.